What's up, y'all? It's your boy JTMM, aka Just 10 More Minutes, aka The Freaking 10, back again with another video. Uh, this time, I picked one randomly for Love Bites. Um, <clears throat> and I saw the name and I was like, Empty Daydream. That's a very interesting song title. Um, so I don't know what to expect. I mean, it is a live version. Uh, they have been phenomenal. Let's try that again. They have been phenomenal uh, in their live videos. So I'm very interested to see if that carries over. I have no doubt that it most likely will. But with that being said, I'm not going to mumble any longer. I got the lyrics. I got the video. Hey, uh, Steve, you in the booth? How's it sounding in there? Oh, yeah, man. Everything looks good in here, boss. Man, Steve, still got a job for now. We'll see. COVID's been tough on him. So... That being said, there's only one thing left to do. Let's switch it up. All right, let's get this full screen. Let's not wait any longer. Let's go. It's going to be emotional. Just let me go Just let me go Oh, 
All right, so I'm going to stop it there uh, because there is quite a bit that they've gone through. Let me go back one. There we go. Um, okay. That opening was amazing. Um, I was very worried that it was going to be a very deep emotional song. And when not feeling good, um, that only enhances the emotions. And yeah, I probably would have been a complete wreck by the end of it. So I'm very glad they sped that up in that sense. Um, also, those harmonies. I think this is the first one that I can remember where the when they came in on the backup vocals where they weren't singing along with her and it was truly just them. They got great voices as well. It's almost unfair how maxed out their character stats are. If I could I mean if you're a gamer you'll get that. It's just insane. Memories I can't erase still haunting me silent you silently you stare with cold empty eyes falling down breaking heart a growing addiction just let me go away just let me go my way just let me go i won't become a doll you control i'm losing sight of me i'm losing sight of you i'm losing sanity and i don't know how i will go on nothing new Pretending to not know the truth, rendezvous without emotion or pride. I won't show how weak and sad I am inside, even though I know it's just silly pride. Wow. This does not sound like a uh, good relationship here. Hmm. All right, let's keep going. Um, uh, Great song. Uh, like I said, that the that background vocal part was really cool to hear them um, highlight their voices, uh, which was really, really, really nice. And then that opening, so that I, you can tell that's her background because, I mean, as much as I love her voice with a lot of their music, when she gets into her element with that R&B, you can just tell that was her like her first passion. That's really cool to see. And how they incorporated that in. That's just cool on their part. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it. Uh, I'm gonna go there because I want to get this other part up here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Mm. You never call my name. 
You never feel the same. You never make me feel like I deserve any love. I'm waiting for the dawn. I'm waiting for the time. I'm waiting for my bleeding heart to heal so I can go on. Memories I can't erase still haunting me. Silently you stare with cold, empty eyes, falling down, breaking heart, a growing addiction, empty room, endless rain, the end of a daydream. You know, I'll say it again, for being a non-native English speaker, um, her lyrics are really good. Because, you know, just even... You never call my name. You never feel the same. You never make me feel like I deserve any love. I'm waiting for the dawn. I'm waiting for the time. I'm waiting for the bleeding heart to heal so I can go on. I mean, each one of these, uh, what you may want to call mini chorus, whatever you would call that, gives a clear indication of the song. Even going back up to the first one, right? Just let me go away. Just let me go my way. Just let me go. I won't become a doll you control. I'm losing sight of me. I'm losing sight of you. I'm losing sanity, and I don't know how I will go on. Just those two sets of lyrics right there tell you about the pain and the heartache she's feeling in this relationship. Or, excuse me, what I perceive is, is what she's talking about as a relationship. And then just, a, you know... Um, breaking heart, a growing addiction, <coughs> empty room, endless rain. Think about just it, giving you those visuals as you're listening, right? Empty room, endless rain. If you're in an empty room, you're alone. And endless rain, rain is just that gloomy feeling, right? It just wears you down. It, you know, when you look outside and you just see nothing but rain, rain, rain. And it just wears on you. So to to kind of play on words like that within the song, it's just brilliant. I'm going to let them finish. I, I really like this one. I, I'm glad, even though it's not a happy, uplifting song, and it's really a heartbreaking song, I'm not feeling myself getting over super emotional just because... The lyrics are so well done from a painting a picture. So let's let them finish. I, I like it. stop it there there we go um so it just ended with you know you never call my name you never feel the same you never make me feel like i deserve any love i'm waiting for the dawn i'm waiting for the time i'm waiting for my bleeding heart to heal so i can go on um let me switch it up i'll give you my final thoughts
you know, when, when Asami, and I, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I apologize. But when Asami writes these lyrics, I'm very curious. When, <coughs> um, similar to Tatiana with Ginger, Tatiana always started, uh, or I shouldn't say always, from what people have said is she always started in Ukrainian and then tried to translate to English and adjust from there. And I'm wondering if Asami does the same. Because these are so well written, but at the same time, you know, some of these, I wonder if, if the translation, similar to what we saw at Bandmade, and even with Wagaki Band and, and the Thousand uh, Cherry Blossoms, um, and if y'all haven't seen that video yet, uh, it may come out after this one, um, where you can tell that at least in the translation that they are make available, they're very rough, right? And very word for word. So I'm very curious if Asami goes in and writes this first in Japanese or if she writes this first in English and then translates it and then adjusts. Some of these, I mean, I, I fully believe she writes in English. Just let me go away. Just let me go my way. I truly believe that that was written in in English first but then when you get into like empty room endless rain end of a daydream I'm just very curious either way she's brilliant with her lyrics but I just I really enjoy her lyrics I really really do and I look forward to their songs and that's why I'm picking them at random is because I just I, I have yet to get one and I want to go back and I've said it probably a thousand times already i want to go back and and watch glory to the world again now that i understand everything um as someone pointed out right of kind of how unfair i was to at, the, at that point <coughs> but i pick these random songs and they never ever disappoint this is another one that i really like that, that i'll be honest that that piano part at the beginning i was really worried this was going to be a slow paced song and it was going to be super emotional um, but that wasn't because I thought it'd be bad. It was simply that I don't think, you know, this early in the morning, I was ready for that. But it picked up and it was an amazing song. So with that being said, guys, uh, another one from Love Bites that's just simply awesome. Um, I really, really like the lines of just let me go away, go my way, losing sight of me, losing sight of you. The, uh, and I said it earlier, those two sets of lines between that and the waiting for the dawn time and my bleeding heart, so I uh, I don't know how I'll go on. When you can do that in a song and get the entire point of the song across and make people feel that emotion, you've done your job. And she does it continuously. So that being said, if you like this video, hit that like, subscribe, and share button. Got more coming. I appreciate y'all's support. We're growing daily. We're going to keep growing. We're going to take over. We're going to be known as the best reaction channel. And it's not even a reaction. It's it's lyrical breakdown. Um, because I don't give you this huge reaction of, oh my god, this is the greatest ever, or jumping up and down and acting like a damn fool. This isn't staged. This is 100% gut genuine reaction. And I will never jump up and down in a chair. I will never get up out of my chair and pretend to walk away because it's that great. That's what staged fools do. And it irritates me because that just plays on people's emotions. What you will always get here is I will watch it. You may see me smile and get into it and nod my head and rock my head and all that. But I'm not going to act a fool. Anybody that does that, that's just for that's just for camera. That's stupidity. I hate it. Oh, it drives me crazy when I see that stuff. Anyway, let's see the next Love Bite songs that comes through. I know it's going to be a banger. All of them are so far. I think I'll be disappointed if I ever get one that's not. But I highly doubt it. All right, guys. If you liked that video, hit that like, subscribe, and share. We're going to keep marching. We're going to be the best. And I appreciate each and every one of you. No funny taglines, anything like that. Just know that I appreciate you. With every single comment that y'all make out there. I love it. I love seeing them. 
I'm trying to get back into the uh, responding to everyone, but you know, it's going to be a slow process getting back just with energy and things like that. Until next time, guys, I love y'all. I am out. KTML.